This is a combination. This is not just the truck. If you optimize one, you actually might disrupt the whole combination. Take the work that we did on the original T680, the truck that really set the standard, and improve upon the aerodynamics. Tesla is known as an emerging player in the truck segment, with the capacity to produce 50,000 semi-units by 2024. In contrast, Kenworth is a well-known name in the trucking world. The company recently delivered its 10,000th Kenworth T680 next generation. So how can the Tesla Semi crush the Kenworth T680 to dominate the truck market? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. World. Welcome back to our channel, friends. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now let's get started with today's content. Tesla has touted its new semi as the future of trucking. Kenworth also said the new T680 is definitely a next generation truck for Kenworth and one that builds nicely on its existing reputation. So how does the price of both trucks compare? One of the major unanswered questions is the price tag for the Tesla Semi. Tesla has already made deliveries of its first semis, however, the company hasn't publicly announced a sale price yet. It had said the 300 mile range version of the semi would cost 150,000 US and the 500 mile version is 180,000. The base reservation price was around $20,000, but reservations for the Tesla Semi were paused a while ago. Tesla's passenger electric vehicle prices have increased sharply since then. Thus, we predict the price will increase by at least $10,000. However, the Inflation Reduction Act announced in July could net Tesla Semi buyers upwards of $40,000 in incentives. And if nothing changes, the 300 mile version will be 110,000, while the 500 mile version will be 140,000. The automaker is expected to produce 100 semis this year, resulting in revenue of $18 million in 2022. For comparison, a 2022 Kenworth T680 will cost you around 170,000, but could be more depending on specs and can go up to $200,000 or more with finance, making it $20,000 more expensive than a Tesla. Semi. Now, let's talk about operational costs. Which means of transport will be more economical? Electricity-powered semi-trucks have a savings of about 83% compared to diesel, and the Tesla Semi will have less wear and tear on its brakes and less maintenance due to having no engine and needing no oil changes, along with being a source of clean energy. You can see how much a trip for a diesel truck on a highway costs per gallon of diesel fuel. This ends up at about $4.99 per gallon. Now, let's input the distance of 200 miles. We can then do a calculation with a mile per gallon of around 6 and come up with about 34 gallons at 5.9 miles per gallon. And this is just for the average diesel truck. We also have to calculate the fuel cost for that diesel truck by multiplying 34 by 4.99, which comes out to $169.76. Now we take 169.76 and divide that by 200. What do you get? 85 cents per mile, give or take. Tesla Semi, an electric truck, can take that same load and move it 200 miles with with electricity. Now we have to use 2 kilowatt hours per mile for the Tesla Semi. Multiplying 200 miles by 2 kilowatt hours per mile gets us a total consumption of 400 kilowatt hours. Easy enough. Now we take that 400 and multiply it by 0.07 cents per kilowatt hour, which equals $28. That's $28 to drive 200 miles. You take 28 and you divide that by 200, you get 14 cents per mile. So a 200 mile diesel truck trip costs you $170 while a 200 mile Tesla Semi truck trip costs you under 30. The Tesla Semi will save you $142. 
then again, that's still a huge amount of savings. Now, moving away from the price a bit here, we have to talk about the exterior, which is pretty important. So, what are the exterior differences between the Semi and the T680? The Tesla Semi has the most beautiful design we've ever seen on a truck, with a stunning front fascia and a clean, uncluttered cab construction, which add a unique identity to the electric truck. With its design, the Semi unarguably looks like something straight out of a sci-fi film. One of the first things you'll probably look at is the front end, which unlike traditional gas-powered trucks that have massive grills to maximize airflow to the robust engines, has a blanked off nose with a pointy shape that maximizes airflow around the truck. Under the nose is a small, uniquely designed air intake that lets air in to cool the high-capacity battery, which is positioned in the center of the front and rear axles. Designed like a bullet, the Tesla Semi is incredibly aerodynamic. According to the brand, the truck has a drag coefficient of 0.36, which, as fantastic as it already sounds, is better than the Kenworth T680's 0.6 drag coefficient. The smooth surfacing makes the Tesla Semi highly aerodynamic, and for added aerodynamics, the Tesla substitutes the door mirrors for cameras positioned at the extreme rear, which then transmits transmit the feed to the cabin screens. Also, the large glass is explosion-proof. The truck's tires could come with an improved automatic tire inflation system. Now, how about Kenworth's T680? It goes into an all-new bumper design. The new T680 is the most aerodynamic truck in company history, said Kenworth chief engineer Joe Adams. That we've made for aerodynamics plus the inclusion of the Packard MX engine. The sweeping body lines give the truck a sense of fluid movement even when sitting still. In essence, they've smoothed out lines and crafted new, cleaner pathways for air to move over the front of the truck and down its sides. Thanks to new fairings, astoundingly low ground clearance, and new fifth wheel and tandem axle fairings. That's in addition to a new aerodynamic bumper and hood, turning vanes, durable lower fairing extensions, chassis fairings, wheel well closeouts, 28-inch side extenders, tandem drive axle fairings, and a wheel cover. All of these enhancements are laser-focused on keeping the airflow as close to the truck's cab as possible to reduce drag-causing turbulence. Now, for those of you who aren't in the industry, truckers spend so much time on the road, they need to have pleasant and safe interiors. So, what's the interior difference between the Semi and the T680. Complementing the Semi's unique and attractive exterior is an equally graceful cabin. Unlike other trucks, the Semi's driver's seat is positioned in the center of the cabin, which, according to Tesla, gives the driver maximum visibility out of the windshield. To carry extra passengers, the Semi comes with two foldable seats behind the driver's seat. On the tech side of things, the interior features two massive 15-inch touch screens. Situated on both ends of the neatly designed dashboard, the infotainment system screens not only come with Tesla's brilliant UI, but also the usual suite of connectivity that you'd find on the brand's road cars. In contrast, the features of the Kenworth Diamond VIT interior features rich interior finishes. The seats offer new cover options of leather, ultra fabric, fabric, vinyl combination, vinyl only, and fabric only. The signature motifs are available in tan and gray. Besides that, the cab features a new 15-inch, high-definition, fully digital display, which Kenworth says is the largest standard factory display available in any North American truck to date. 15-inch digital display in the A-cluster position. The design is easily adjustable to enable drivers to match their preferences, while also automatically displaying critical content. The steering wheel has also been updated with smart features and controls that are integrated into the functionality of the new display. But for the truckers on the long haul, do these two have sleep options? Videos and pictures have failed to show the sleeper cab portion of the Tesla Semi, as it claims drivers can 
stand up in the vehicle, which is said to be unheard of in the trucking industry. But according to Tesla executives, that's just a day cab rather than the sleeper cab that we're talking about with a bed. However, there's a significant amount of room behind the cockpit to house a sleeping area in the semi. So hopefully Tesla will develop them in 2023 so that the driver has a comfortable space to rest. On the other hand, the T680 is designed to optimize performance in line haul, pickup and delivery and regional haul operations. It's available in day cab, 40 inch, 52 inch and 76 inch sleeper configurations. The big high roof sleeper is comfortable and spacious. The driver's studio package features a variety of items to make life on the road more comfortable. Adding an additional sleeping space with a folding upper bunk or opt for additional storage cabinets. The swivel option on the passenger seat allows you to turn the seat a full 180 degrees for comfortable dining or lounging in the cab. The driver's studio includes a TV mount for flat screen TVs up to 28 inches that swivels for comfortable viewing whether you're laying down or sitting in the swivel seat. The package also includes premium audio with a 320 watt amp, 10 inch subwoofer, and eight speakers. The refrigerator is mounted at mid-level for easy access without having to bend over or move anything out of the way. Seems to me like Tesla's Semi is more suitable for short trips. Now, of course, trucks are used to transport goods and tonnage, which is crucial to their success. So which truck has the better capacity? So that, that truck's clocking it at 82. That, that's weighing 82,000 pounds. The Tesla Semi is an all-electric class 8 truck that Tesla claims can carry up to 82,000 pounds. In contrast, the T680 has a gross combination weight of 67,000 pounds, which is lower than that of the Tesla Semi's by 15,000 pounds. So in terms of tonnage, the Tesla Semi outperforms the Kenworth T680. But how can the Semi be so powerful? So essentially we're using the, the the, the Plaid uh, Model S, Model X uh, powertrain. Well, Tesla originally planned to launch the Semi with a quad motor powertrain. However, according to a revision on the official website, the brand will offer tri-motor versions at launch and the quad motor powertrain will be optional once production ramps up. Musk said the Semi uses three electric motors that are based on the ones in the Plaid spec Model S and Model X. The drive unit in a Tesla Model S Plaid has an output of 1,020 horsepower and 1,050 pound-feet of torque. Now, what motor does the Kenworth T680 use? The T680 produces 405 horsepower with 1,750 pound-feet of torque. So while the Semi is more powerful in terms of horsepower by 615, the T680 comes standard with the EPA 2021 2021 Packar MX-13 12.9 liter engine which helps the truck achieve its overall fuel economy gains. Kenworth says the Packard MX-13 engine features enhanced durability, reduced complexity and performance upgrades, along with increased downspeeding capability and more efficient combustion. This results in more power, longevity, uptime, easy of service, and driver satisfaction. The Packard MX-13 engine guarantees a smooth operating high performance powertrain, optimized for seamless integration with the Packard 12 speed transmission and pack car 40k axles so with the difference in power is there any way that the kenworth t680 can surpass the range of the tesla semi tesla has released a time-lapse video of its tesla semi electric truck completing a 500 mile trip with a full load on a single charge this number is significant because 80 percent of truck routes like the kenworth t680 are 250 miles or less you can deliver a load out to the middle of nowhere and come back said musk tesla has previously claimed this this allows the semi to recharge 70% of its quoted capacity in 30 minutes. That time is vital to note because in most jurisdictions, drivers must stop every six hours for a 30 minute break. The company says that the semi will have added 400 miles in half an hour, which can last another six hours. So then which truck out of the two would be considered the safest? The semi comes with the same safety features as Tesla's existing vehicles, the same kind of standards that have earned Tesla countless accolades. It comes with enhanced autopilot, automatic emergency braking, automatic lane keeping, and 
forward collision warning. The company also believes that moving the driver's seat to the middle of the vehicle makes it safer in case of an accident. It also has a low center of gravity due to the battery pack's location at the bottom and middle of the vehicle. There's an enhanced traction control system on the Tesla Semi to prevent jackknifing. Jackknifing means the unusual folding of highly articulated vehicles like trailers because of uncontrolled inertia. It occurs when the heavy trailers cause the truck to contort in awkward angles, often causing accidents. Tesla's engineers have incorporated an advanced traction control system where jackknifing is wholly avoided. What's more, Musk claimed that the semi would never require brake pad changes ever. Brake energy regeneration, which recovers kinetic energy and stores it in an electrical form in the battery, naturally slows the vehicle down. But what about the T680? The T680 Next Gen offers a suite of ADAS and introduces lane keeping assist and torque assisted steering as options for the first time in the Kenworth lineup. Lane Keeping Assist uses camera input to identify when the truck is departing the lane and provides a nudge to help keep it centered in the lane. This feature requires Bendix Fusion and comes with torque assisted steering, which provides additional torque to the steering column, reducing driver fatigue. The T680 is also equipped with adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, collision mitigation, and side object detection. Bendix ADB22X front and rear air disc brakes are now the standard offerings on the Kenworth T680 truck, the company announced. ADB22X front air disc brakes were already standard on the truck and the pairing is now uniform form across the lineup. The Bendix air disc brakes are designed for shorter stopping distances, reduced maintenance costs, enhanced safety, and lighter overall weight. The prototype Kenworth T680 Next Gen provides an autonomy-enabled truck platform integrated with the Aurora driver, a level 4 autonomy system. The platform features new control interfaces and redundant braking, steering, and power systems to achieve the requirements needed for reliable and safe self-driving operations. The sensors on the T680 Next Gen include Aurora's First Light LiDAR, First Light LiDAR, which is an imaging radar, and high-resolution cameras. Each car will obviously have its pros and cons, but the Tesla Semi has outstanding power and range. How do you feel about the matchup between the Semi and the T680? Which truck, in your opinion, do you think is the superior one? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.